my beautiful people so for today's DIY I picked up these little votive candle holders from the Dollar Tree they come two for a dollar but I am going to be spray painting them so they will not look like this you don't need to worry about the words that are on there and then I am going to be using some of this Krylon metallic gold spray paint I'm also going to use some rubber bands and using some of the pearls from the Dollar Tree. These small pearls came from the Dollar Tree. These bigger pearls came from Dollar General. I hauled them recently. And I will be using some of this extra fine glitter. I got this at Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to go ahead and spray paint the votives and then I will decorate them. All right, so it's the next day and uh, they are spray painted and dry. I forgot to tell you all that we're going to need some Mod Podge for the glitter that we're going to be using. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, oh, I have it right here. This is the glitter that I'm using, a pretty gold, really fine glitter. Okay, so I'm working outside again today because I'm an outside kind of girl. I like to go camping, I like to do stuff outside. So we are gonna just add some Mod Podge on here and get some glitter and um, add to it. So let's just reroute and play around with the glitter and see what happens. I don't know if this is gonna be a a fail <laughs> or not but we're gonna see because the glue actually the glue may hold the um, rubber bands in place I don't know what's gonna happen y'all <laughs> it's one of those days when I'm just playing around, so I don't know how this project is going to turn out. But yeah, I think that I think that the glue is going to glue down the rubber bands, and I'm not going to be able to take them off. I don't think so. We're not going to worry about it. We're going to see how that turns out. That might be pretty, actually. So I hope you all are having a good day. Today is Memorial Day. And I am just doing a little bit of work today because I miss y'all when I'm traveling. I'm not on my regular schedule, so. Oh, yeah, you guys. Oh, yeah, this is going to be good. We're just going to leave these rubber bands I initially on. was just going to use the rubber bands as a guide, but once I put them on there, I started thinking that this might really look nice just to leave them on and give it a pattern and I like the way it's looking you guys see how it's raising it up I think that's turning out pretty so oopsie let me something that shouldn't be there I hope that y'all don't mind that I'm working outside because I'm probably gonna do it much more often you can hear the birds and the weather's really nice. So I like this one so much that I'm gonna do the second one the same way. I'm just gonna put the rubber bands on there and use the Mod Podge and the glitter. I think I'm gonna add more rubber bands so I can see what it looks like and um, go from there. Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna try and twist the rubber band up some. I'm gonna use a um, a wide one and see what that looks like and I like that I wasn't planning to do this <laughs> at all but it's turning out to be really pretty um, I've never seen this before with the rubber bands left on and the glitter on top of it um, so hey maybe I came up with something new but I doubt it um, there's nothing new under the Sun so Anyways, I'm just trying to straighten out the rubber band some 
it's getting a little twisted as you can see right there but actually that may look good so I'm gonna leave that alone and I'm gonna add a little thinner one and see what that'll look like so yeah I'm really having fun with this and on the other one I'm gonna do pearls and see how it turns out I'm gonna use both sizes so what do y'all think is this okay I think it is I'm gonna see how it'll turn out like this. So I had a problem with my video and I just wanted to explain um, a part of it. So this is just a candle that I had inside the house. Um, and I just wanted to show you on the votives that you see with the pearls on it, all I did was just put some rubber band up at the top, just like you see here. And then I put glue where the rubber band was just up at the top area, not on the bottom half. And then I added the pearls just sporadically, some big and some small here and there. Um, I just wanted to take the time to explain that part because I realized when I went to do the video that it was missing. I am so sorry, but this is what it looks like before you put the, the uh, Mod Podge and the glitter on. It should look like this up at the top. I hope that makes sense. So when you go to add your um, pearls on, that is what's really going to make this project stand out and make it more special. And let me know, is this something that you all think you may try? And what would you use it for? I think it'd be pretty for any kind of party. I think it's kind of easy to do and it's kind of like you're playing around but then it turns out gorgeous so I'm having fun with this and this could be pretty around New Year's to decorate your dining room or for a dinner party it'd be pretty of course for a wedding it would be beautiful So you'll get to see what that looks like and I am just staggering them these big pearls came from the Dollar General and the small ones came from the Dollar Tree look at that glisten that is the best it's the bestest <laughs> so I'm just gonna have a little fun with this and put on more pearls to my heart's content And I hope that this is a project that you'll share with your friends and family. If you know someone who's getting married, they want something glamorous because you could use rhinestones and you could use silver paint instead of the gold if you want a more blingy look. And um, I've just been working with gold here recently. I don't usually play around that much with gold, but gold is kind of bringing it here lately especially with these pearls and the glitter I'm always playing around with the spray paint but the the glitter um, I hadn't used much gold glitter so just recently on the centerpiece that I'm showing you at the very end of the video and on these and then I did a recent project some candle holders with the gold spray paint but I didn't add any glitter. So there you go. I think this is good. Let me know what you think. Okay, this project is complete. I hope you like them. I did a centerpiece and I will put a picture of that centerpiece that can go along with these uh, votive candle holders. And um, it also has the you know the gold spray paint and the gold glitter and the pearls and you can take a look at that video if you'd like also and I think that these turned out like little treasures 
and I hope you can see the pattern from the rubber band where it's going up and down I don't know on camera how well you can see it but it's really really pretty and I am really excited about the way that this turned out and I hope you like it also now if I could go back and do this again I think it would be easier to put the rubber bands and the glitter on and put the pearls on top of the glitter that way you wouldn't have to clean up any glue because you really wouldn't see the little glue webs but the way that I did it I did have to go and clean up the glue on the bottom where the gold spray paint is so I just wanted to mention that I thought that might be important for you to know because it would have been easier just to put them on top of the glitter so I hope that you give this video a thumbs up go ahead and subscribe and leave me a comment below and let me know just how much you like these pieces so in the description box below I will leave a link for you to look at the centerpiece that I did that goes along with this thank you so much for watching beautiful people see you next time